So I have a new book for us today. Okay. Tales. It is. It's called Clever Tales. You noticed it on the back of the book the other day and you wanted to read that. So before we start in with this book, now one of the things that we're thinking about making to make our group really, really strong is to make sure that we hear all the different ideas that everybody's sharing. So today when you're talking and sharing out your idea, make sure that you're putting your thinking out there, and if two people start talking at once, what, what kind of things can you do to help that? What could you do? Push back. So we'll just wait, so you hold back and wait, yeah. and let someone else, and then you'll have time to share your thinking too, okay? So we'll all have time to share our thinking. So this book's called Clever Tales. You saw that the other day. Mm. Why do you think that animals have tails? Think for a moment. Remember, you don't have to put your hands up to just put your hand, but do some thinking. Why do you think animals have tails? Mm. Ahmed, you want to start us off? Why do you think animals have tails? I think animals have tails, so sometimes when, sometimes they, their tails soak because sometimes when they fall, an animal can grab their tail, or sometimes like snakes have their tails and they shake, that says back off. Ah, mm -hmm. so talk That's to us, Aiden. I know something about cheetahs from the dogs. They both chase their tails. So sometimes they use their tail as something to play with. In this Ow. book, in this particular book, this is a report Sorry. and it's going to tell us about how some animals use their tails to get food. What? what? Yeah. I'm so confused like, about this. So that sounds confusing, does it? Now, have you ever heard the word clever before? Like what popped in your head when, when you heard the word clever? Corbin. Um, ooh. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. Not being there, just hold it. I don't think what, do you clever thinking? Thinking? Mm. what are you thinking okay. about clever? Um, clever is it's mean that that means like that means like lucky. It's like lucky that, that you could get like stuff out of tails. Okay. So we'll see if it if it, if that idea about clever fits in here. What did, what did you think about with clever? I know about clever means curious. Oh, interesting. Well, we'll see if that's what the way that they're using that. We'll see if that makes sense because they're talking about clever tales in here. Now, take a couple moments now and just have a look through the book. Introduce it to yourself. See what things you're noticing. It's from think, the title. Yeah, it is, isn't it? There's the same photo. <gasps> oh, what are you noticing? I noticed that um, for for litters, lizards, they use their tail to hold on, and and um, <laughs> and and and, and these ones, they use their tail to swim. Yeah. <laughs> Take a look through Mom. there. Look at all those different animals that are in there. Ooh, that one's kind of scary looking, isn't it? Yeah, that's a, that's a scorpion. Scorpion. Ooh. I mean, that one's from, from Moto. Scorpion. It's from Moto, but I don't want to say the whole thing. Okay. Scorpion. Miss Debra? Miss Debra? The index. Miss uh -huh. Debra? Do, does scorpions' tail are poisonous? We'll find out when we get there. We'll read and find out. Oh, On this very beginning, they are going to tell us some of the ideas that they're going to talk to us about in, in this book. Idea. Now, when you look at this photograph, what are some of the animals that you already knew that are in this book? What was something you knew, Jocelyn? Talk to um, us. What animals are they going to tell us about in here? Foxes and crocodiles and Maybe. snakes. <laughs> Makes sense because you see those photos, don't you? Um, Go ahead. They're going to talk about killers and scorpions. Scorpions? What other animals? Um, jaguars. Maybe so. What you and thinking? And lizards and scorpions and monkeys. Uh -huh. um, I don't know what these two are. Mm -hmm. These two. Mm -hmm. 
What are you thinking, Ahmed? Uh, I'm thinking it's going to talk about the monkey and the Daddy fox. Okay. Now, here's what I want you to do. Go over and have a read and see what it tells us about how these animals use their tails to get food. What does it talk to us about? Some animals use their tails to help them get food. Right, so go ahead and just have a read there. All right, so don't go on yet. So now, did it talk to us? They're going to tell us about this big idea about how they get their foods, mm -hmm. right? About how they get their food. All right. Now, this book has, it'll have two pages about each animal. So we're going to read about one animal, their two pages, and then we'll talk about it, and then we'll read the next. So turn over, and let's take a look at the first animal that they're going to talk to us about. Mm. Crocodile. Mm. Crocodile. Now, how did you figure out so fast that it was crocodile? Mr. Mr. Talk to us. Tell us, Ahmed, how did you find that? I'm, I'm sorry, Aiden. Ahmed. I'm sorry. Aiden, how did you find that out? It's because it has the name and I knew it from here, so so that was the same. So I knew this, so I was thinking fast, mm -hmm. but I didn't make a mistake, so I said, that was a crocodile, and that seems like the same thing. Absolutely. I know because of the crocodile's pictures. Now, sometimes kids think it's an alligator, but wasn't it helpful that they put us a label there mm -hmm. to help us know it was crocodile and not alligator? What now, take a look at that alligator's it? tail. Look at the tail. What do you notice about his tail? It's got spikes. spikes. It's got some spikes on it, doesn't it? I know why cro crocodile because alligators don't have those pointy things. You don't think so? Ah. Uh -huh. Now, we're going to go on here and we're going to have to read and find out now how this alligator uses his tail to get it's food. Crocodile. Oh, excuse me. Yeah. The crocodile. Did I say alligator? Yeah. Uh -huh. Silly man. <laughs> so you go read how this crocodile find, uh, uses his tail. And read it into your head. Is he not a bird? All right, so Corbin, talk to us about what did you find out about how this crocodile uses its tail to get its food? And we're all going to look at, um, at Corbin and listen to his thinking. The crocodile uses its tail to catch animals. How does he do that? What did you find out there? Well, let's go back and let's look and see. What did you find out, Jocelyn? Um, when an animal comes to drink, um, it swings its tail and grabs it. Um, when an animal is coming up, um, they stay very still. For the animals to think it's a statue, and then, and then, then like, and then like, then and then, and then the crocodile like scares them, and then, and, and then, and then it, 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 it's, they go eat them. Let's see what the next animal does. Jaguar. How did you know it was a jaguar, not a cheetah? Because it said it's name. Ah. It's kind of hard sometimes to see which cat it is. It's a good thing they put that label there. All right, have a read and see how the the um, ch the jaguar catches food with its tail. So start us off, Christine. What did you find out about the jaguar? Um, jaguar. So the jaguar. Um, you could talk loud. Jaguar. Um, um, uses its tail. It takes the tip of its tail and it taps the water. It makes the fish think there's uh, insects on top, so it went up to get and eat it. Then the jaguar jumps and get it. Can you add on? Go ahead, Jocelyn. Add on to what she said. Sometimes it taps the water with the tip of its tail. So here's the water, and it taps the water. It's not cold. So it thinks there's an insect on top of the water, then the fish comes up. Like this. And then and the drag while it. eats it. What do you think about that? I noticed it. I don't want to get that. Jaws, I, I'm glad to Jaws because it touched the water so it's insects so I can eat it and it's eating the mm -hmm. it's, it's, I, I don't get that.
What part do you not get? By, by, by like putting the toe in the water and catching its prey. Hmm. Can you, can you picture what he does? Who wants to explain that so that, that um, Santiago can see it in his head? Okay, talk to us, Corbin. So you're gonna explain it so Santiago can, can, can start to picture how it happens. Um, uh, I forgot. Well, take a moment, gather your thoughts up. Ooh, that's a fish he's eating. And you might need to look back at the book. Sometimes that helps. Okay, now. I'm okay, you ready? All right, off you go. So when the jaguar sees water, it walks up and then it taps its tail on the on water. So if like an insect is on the water, then the fish tries to eat it. And then ja the jaguar eats it. Does that make sense? No. So. Can you, so what happens first? Let's see if we can walk through the process and you, if you can figure out what's not making sense. So, can you say it out loud, what happens? Can you use the words to help you here? Okay, so here's the water. And what's the jaguar do? It puts a little bit on his tail. So he, put, he puts his tail on top of the water and it taps it. And then the fish, look at this part. Read this part right here. So here's this little thing. Makes the fish think. It makes the fish think that the insects have been underwater. And then what does the fish do? The fish, the fish swims to eat it. And then what happens to the, the fish? Jaguar, it it jumps and eat it. Eat it. Does that make sense to you now? But it's still kind of confusing. Confusing. It's a little bit hard to imagine, but that jaguar's trying to trick that fish into thinking that it's and an insect, and then the fish swims so, up. Oh, oh it's thinking, the fish is thinking the jaguar was like in, in the water, and then it, it gets, because he thinks it's super little, and then the fish can't eat it, but the jaguar, because they're big, they can eat it. Is Sabra? He fools the fish. Is Sabra? Uh huh. Um. So, so the so the jaguar stands on the edge, so so the fish doesn't see him because there's some land. Oh yeah, that's pretty clever, huh? So the fish doesn't see doesn't see what's on top of the land when he's in the water. Mm -hmm. So he only sees that little spot on the water with his tail and then it fools him into thinking that it's a, an insect. That's pretty clever. Let's turn and let's see. What's the next yes. animal? Now how is that like the the jaguar? Oh, because... Oh, yeah. How's that like the jaguar? Um, the, the jaguar taps its tail in the water. The fish thinks it's an insect, but the jaguar is I'm shaking it and then it eats the fish. The, like the, just snake like the snake wiggled it's, its it's tail. It's, so the other animal thinks it's a woman then. It's the, um, feel it. It it's shakes it and then the snake eats it. Take a look at the end of our book. And, and Santiago oh. noticed this when we were first looking through the book. Santiago, can you talk to them about what you were thinking here? That I never know that there can be an index at the end of every book. Mm. Sometimes we see a table of contents at the beginning and uh -huh. it'll have a list of things. Mm -hmm. And Ms. here Debra. the index, it has a list of all the animals. Miss Deborah, uh -huh. what does what this are mean? these numbers mean? What are those numbers do you think? It means it means the the page we just read. The pages what it's on. Are they mixed up? Here. They're mixed up. How oh, are they no. mixed up? Yeah, because because four don't be lost. Uh, because, because they have two pages and, and uh, they have two pages of it and then this one goes 4, 10, 14, 8, 12, 6 and it doesn't make sense. The yes, it does. Hmm. No, no, these are the no. pages what it's on. The animals, the pages. Yeah, so it doesn't have to make sense. It doesn't like, have to It has the, to make like, sense. Like, the, yeah. like you said, those numbers are the, those steps. Like steps. I know, I know oh, you're sense. thinking the pages. So, so if we go to page ten, which animal will we see? 
Jaguar. And if we go to page eight, which animal will we see? Scorpion. And what about page six? We'll see a whale. Kill a whale. Now, wonder why they're in the order they're in. Any ideas about why they, why the crocodiles first and then the jaguar? Because that's not who oh. was second in the book, right? Go ahead. Um. Uh. They. Um. Oh. They just put it like. Um, at the end, so they know um, what page they're on. That's so helpful because if we're at the end of the book and we just want to find the snake page really quickly, how would we find it? It's on this, we could see the number. We'd have to find the right page. We have to find number the snake's 12. name. I already found it. And it's on page 12, isn't it? Yeah. All right. So close up your books. Wow, you Wait. did amazing Wait, thinking work 12? today. You were noticing, at first we started really looking and just thinking about what we noticed in the pictures. Mine was that In these one. photographs. You got very excited when you saw these different animals. And then you were doing such a nice job reading over here and figuring out how this animal could use its tail to help it catch food. And Santiago, you did a very important thing right here. When it didn't make sense to you, you said, I don't understand that. That doesn't make sense. And then when you kept talking and kept talking and kept talking, you figured it all out on your own. You listened to some other ideas, then you started thinking if you could say it, and you figured it out. Can you tell us how that jaguar um, uses its tail to catch food? Oh, it takes a little bit of its tail, and if, and if because oh, because the fish thinks that the that the water in the like in the tip of the tail, so the fish try to <gasps> eat it. The jaguar, the jaguar eats it. Eats the fish up, right? Yeah. So see when he got some other ideas from other people, when it didn't make sense, and he kept thinking and kept thinking, and he figured it out. That's such important reader work to know when it doesn't make sense in your head. And I saw on your face, because you said, you had a little frown, and you're like, that doesn't make sense. And then you kept like thinking what? and kept thinking until you worked it like out. What? That's important. He reread. He got some ideas from you. No. He reread the page and he it's figured it all out.